As a scientist, it's something that's always driven me. It's, it's always been the part of science I've enjoyed the most. It's finding novel ways to do things and trying to get to the root cause of the problem. And that's probably why I've always been really striving to find new ways to do things and try to find better ways to do things. Innovation can mean many things. It doesn't have to be the latest, greatest cutting edge technology, really. It can be just a simple solution, something that we do differently. One of the projects I'm working on at the moment is basically a network inspections and a part of the drinking water network inspections is obviously having a good look inside our drinking water reservoirs to see if we can find you know, levels of corrosion, um, sediment build up, other little sinister things that may or may not lurk in there. I've seen a number of highly expensive purpose-built um, underwater robots. Yeah, I mean, that is a solution, but it's a very expensive solution. There was a, a product currently being used for biosecurity and investigation. It was a low-cost solution. Um, didn't really have all the fancy bells and whistles, but it wasn't really what I was looking for. So this ROV we're currently experimenting with and using at the moment is a basic um, device, no, no tools, no grabbers, no nothing, just a camera um, for doing inspections, and that's really what we were after. basically a underwater drone. We've got a 4K camera on the front. We've got two high powered LED spot lamps which can be set to multiple settings. And then the, the most important bit, you've got the six different thrusters. Effectively you can drive it around the reservoir like that, scan in the bottom. Or you, another one is you can turn it like that, turn the lights out and drive around the roof like that, looking for any light coming in through the roof. i failing that, you know, obviously you've got the normal rolls and whatever you want. And, um, it can all be controlled via the VR headset. Your yeah, works mobile phone just goes in there. Wherever I look, the actual robot turns itself to look, which is incredible. One of the key benefits here is I guess we don't have to put a diver in, which obviously comes with a whole bunch of um, operational health and safety issues, you've got the, the, the added issue with putting a human body into a reservoir. The main benefits from an OHS perspective is we're not having to put a diver into the tank, we're not having those added complicated health and safety issues around drinking water quality and putting a human body into the tank. It's less intrusive. If you've got a good idea that'll make things safer or more efficient, just have the confidence to bring it up and raise it to the innovation team and they'll help you make your idea become reality.